Hello everyone, I'm Briffy1322 and in this video I'll be going over the various discounts and bonuses that are now active in GTA Online as of Thursday the 24th of June 2021. All of these are going to be available for one week until Thursday the 1st of July. The podium vehicle this week is the Windsor Drop, which can be won by spinning the lucky wheel in the casino. It's in the coupes class and normally sets you back $900,000. Added to the game way back in 2016, it holds the distinction of being the last DLC car added to the Coupes class, as well as being the last convertible car we got as well. In terms of performance though, it is the slowest in the class around the lap, so it's more of a collector's item. The premium race this week is 8 figure bonus, which is an old style lap race in the city for the Sport Classics class. As usual for this class, you'll want to stick with the S tier cars of the Turismo Classic, Cheetah Classic, Rapid GT Classic and Retinue Mark II to give you the best chance to win. Also, the regular time trial this week is end to end, which you can see being completed later in the video alongside the premium race track, with the RC time trial being La Fuente Blanca. In terms of regular vehicle discounts, it's a fresh selection this week. You'll get 40% off the Shitaro, which is still the quickest bike in the game for lap time, but only just, and suffers from a lack of top speed in comparison to the cheaper and only a tenth of a second slower per lap, Hakucho Drag. There's also 40% off a number of ex executive vehicles, including the Cognoscenti and its armoured version, the Baller LE and its armoured version, the Baller LE LWB and its armoured version, the Super Velito and its carbon version, the Swift and its deluxe version, and the Luxor and its deluxe version. None of these are particularly notable in their classes for racing, but are perhaps interesting nevertheless, so take the opportunity to get one for a cheaper price if you've always wanted one. Finally, you can get 50% off a yacht if you don't have one already, although they're not particularly useful. Do get the Pisces variant if you want the best vehicles that come with it though. You can of course find out the lap times, top speeds and tiers of all the vehicles that I've mentioned here by checking out the playlist and video links in the description and pinned comment. In terms of discounts specifically for Amazon Prime Gaming members who've linked their Rockstar Social Club accounts, you'll get 80% off the 190Z and Best Year GTS with 60% off the Nimbus. These same Prime discounts have been running for three weeks now and considering they normally only last two weeks, I guess last week where they didn't change anything across the board really was a week off for Rockstar. Hopefully we get something new next week. Also, if you do have Prime Gaming and you haven't already, make sure you're giving your free subscription to a Twitch streamer each month as well. It doesn't have to be me, but make sure you're giving it to someone as you're basically supporting them with a $2.50 donation without any extra cost to you. Other miscellaneous bonuses this week include triple money on the Deadline Adversary Mode, which has received 7 new maps this week, alongside triple money on Yacht Missions. There's also double money on Air Freight Cell Missions and the Entourage Adversary Mode. Further discounts include 50% off hangers and yacht modifications. In terms of my deal of the week, I'm going to go with my favourite helicopter this week of the Swift. There isn't really anything on discount that either isn't too useful or doesn't already have a better competitor at a cheaper price, like the Shitaro still being more expensive even with the discount than the arguably better Hakucho Drag, so I'm just going to go with the helicopter that I enjoy flying the most. And now it's time for the news and discussion segment of the video where I ramble on for a few minutes about something while you watch me complete this week's time trial and showcase the track for the premium race. So I don't really have an awful lot to talk about in this one, we're kind of still just in a holding pattern waiting for Rockstar to give us some more information. The time trial for this one, it was fairly straightforward, it was more just about traffic management than anything else. There was one fun moment where I jump over a car perfectly but apart from that, it was fairly mundane. I have had a look at the time trial list and the order in which we get these time trials, and the one that I'm most worried about, which is down Chiliad, is one of the last I'm gonna have to do. There's 32 time trials in total. Uh, so far since I started doing these time trials in the Adder, I've done 11 of them, and down Chiliad is probably the one that's going to be the most difficult, or at least that's what everyone says, but people said that Mount Gordo was going to be one of the more difficult ones, and that was more just about RNG really, because it was so short, so maybe it won't be as bad as Observatory, which has been the hardest one so far, but yeah, it's, it is going to be one of the last ones I do, so yeah, looking forward to that one. <laughs> 
in terms of the deadline adversary mode does anybody play it uh, i think i played it once when it was first released but it's not something that i'm really interested in let me know your thoughts in the comments on the new maps and whether they're any good if it's something that you regularly play and the next thing that we're going to get is new survival maps i don't think survival is something that i've done since 2013 i think i tried it a little bit back then and then that was it um and then it'll just be waiting for the summer dlc and we're kind of just waiting to hear more about it and hopefully a release date at some point soon although they tend to just tell us the week before we, you know they'll, they'll announce that the dlc will be coming next week and they don't really give that many details about these dlcs before they come these days so yeah i'm expecting august sometime honestly for the summer dlc the car club dlc uh that we're expecting but uh yeah at the minute we're just kind of waiting to hear more about it from rockstar so I think I'm going to leave it there and let you watch the, the rest of the time trial and the uh, premium race uh, as, as you if you want to that is as usual I'll be back with another video just like this next Thursday the 1st of July where we'll go through everything that's changed once again feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it thanks a lot for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Thank you.